we're going to be doing something we've never done before. We are going to be comparing the Rapu C200 with its big brother, Rapu C260. You don't want to miss this one. Hello Curious Ones and welcome again to a very special kind of video here at Curious Tech Life. I'm Rodney Garcia. Thanks for joining us today. Now before we continue with the video, we want to encourage you to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that we can deliver to your virtual doorstep the latest and the greatest videos coming from Curious Tech Life. Please do like this particular video and also put some comments on the comment section we'd love having conversations with you we want to know if this video is something that you're gravitated to we want to hear your opinions we want to hear your thoughts we want to hear about you now for this particular video we're going to do something we've never done before we're going to be comparing two Rapu webcams and see what will be their performance, quality, and what particular webcam will be suitable for you. Now, we are talking about the Rapu C200, which is right here, and its big brother, the Rapu C260, okay? So these are the two webcams that we are going to be comparing with each other. We've never done this before. I don't even think it's ever been done before. So we want to thank Rapu Philippines for allowing us to use their webcams. And not just that, but also trusting Curious Tech Life that we can give honest, direct, real-life reviews and how each one can benefit you today. Now, of course, we've already done videos in the past for the Rapu C260, which is actually the first video I've done with Rapu. Just recently, the Rapu C200. Of course, it would be easier to just get the video from the previous video review and, and put it all together in one video. But that would also be lazy. And here at the channel, we don't do lazy. We want to provide the best kind of videos so that you can decide for yourself. For this particular test, this is what we're going to be doing. Number one, we're going to make sure that when we test these two amazing webcams, they are tested in the same environment. In order for us to make a fair comparison we will need to have fair rules fair situations and in this case I'm actually shooting this video around 1 in the afternoon okay so you can just imagine the Sun is out bright and everything second we're going to shoot it also more or less in the same uh, quality of light now also one more thing whatever you will see and here from the webcams are not edited whatsoever there's no color correction there's no audio correction there's no plugins that were implemented all of the things that you are now watching and hearing are coming from both webcams why do we do that because we wanted to make sure that we give you real world results so without further ado we now step into the comparison between the Rapu C200 and the Rapu C260. Here we go. Okay guys, so right now we are shooting this particular video through the lenses of the Rapu C200. Now, you can see also here on this side it's a little bit brighter because this is where the window is and then this is where there's basically the room but uh, this is what the quality of the Rapu C200 looks like considering the circumstances that I'm only relying on natural light now you're also hearing me through the microphone that's built in the Rapu C200 which is amazing which is I believe is amazing because all you need to do is just plug it in and then you're ready to go I'm about one arm's length, more or less one arm's length from the webcam to where I'm sitting right now. You can also see how the camera is also picking up the light and what light is coming in and how it is interpreting the quality. Now, for this particular part of the video, we are not using any filters, we're not using any plugins, we're not using any color adjustments what you see is what you get what you hear is what you get because we wanted to make sure that our review for this camera is honest and real world and this is how it's going to look like and it's this is how it's going to sound like when you use this for your real world scenarios like you know school 
from home, Zoom meetings, and family conversations over video. This is what it looks like when there's no artificial light, meaning there's no room lights or incandescent lights or LED lights. We are just relying on natural light coming from the sun outside and the window. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn on my softbox, which is right here in front of me, and then we're going to see the difference when it comes to natural light and adding some more light into this situation okay so hold on we're gonna switch a little bit here we go all right so at this time uh what you're watching right now is now the rapu c200 with natural light on this side of the screen and i turned on my softbox light so you can see a little bit uh lighter on this side compared to earlier we just wanted to do this so that you can see the difference between natural light and maybe adding a few more lights once it's a little bit darker of course when you're shooting video uh, or on a webcam it's ideal that the light is right in front of you so that you have coverage of the light is much more even if you're going to be uh, using natural light make sure that you're in front of a window if you're going to be using artificial light make sure that you have enough light so that your webcam will perform properly now at least you can now have an idea of how the webcam captures the video when you have more than enough light inside the room one thing i like also about the rapu c200 is that the colors are very good you can see the, the dark uh, colors are being taken well and it can also get some finer details I just took a bath so maybe that's the reason why I'm, you're, you're getting some of the reds in front of my face but uh, <laughs> this is how the Rapu C200 looks like in this environment okay also I want you to look at the field of view so this is what the field of view looks like which is the typical field of view that you would get with uh, 720p cameras or even built-in cameras, okay? Which is already good for uh, webcam conversations, Skype, Zoom, Facebook, school from home, work from home. This is already a good setup for you. And even the audio sounds very, very good. So uh, the Rapu C200 is a very good alternative to your built-in webcam. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be shifting to the other camera, Rapu C200's big brother, Rapu C260 1080p webcam. So we're going to shift to that right now. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Okay, so you're now watching me through the lenses of the Rapu C260 1080p webcam. Now you're also hearing me through the built-in microphone on the webcam itself. It does have its own built-in microphone. No need for you to have a separate connection for microphone and webcam. All of it is through one particular cable. Now again, through this test, we're not doing any color corrections, no audio corrections, no plugins. What you see is what you get right now. So when you're watching me right now, this is what the actual video looks like on this side you would see that uh, it's very very bright because this is where the the window is and on this side also is where my bed is now you can also see this side of the wall and i wanted to show you that because the first point i wanted to make about the rapu c260 is the field of view that's one of the things about this particular webcam it has a wider field of view because if you compare it to the previous webcam that we showed you earlier the view is just right here but this one has a much larger larger field of view so that you can even see this this was not even shown and this was not even shown earlier now of course we're also depending on natural light which is where this bright side is it that's why it's very very bright and that's why the look on my face there's much shadow because well the, the 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 light is coming from this side even if that's the case then you can already see what the colors and the video and the quality of the video already looks like okay so you can see a lot of darkness but you can see how the webcam also reproduces dark shades and even the different colors and all of that which is very good but i want you to understand this is a 1080p webcam so uh you can't really compare it to a 720p it's actually unfair to do that right because the 720p and the 1080p are very different when it comes to chipsets and quality and dimensions and all of that it's like apples and oranges anyway so aside from that i'm actually seated about one more than one arm's length and actually if you if i do these things you're going to see the field of view at work if i do this see whoa look at that i'm like 3d Ooh, it's like i'm reaching out to you right now Ooh. Or I'm like Superman. So, 
so <laughs> little fun there but uh, this is how it looks like and this is how it sounds like now what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to turn on the soft box so that you can see a difference between natural light and um, you know adding some more light similar to the one that did earlier okay okay so right now I've turned on my soft box right here my soft box light right here on this side and you still have the light coming from the window on this side so you can now see there's already a difference when it comes to illumination because you can see much more of this face right here not much shadow shadow is always good right it's going to make you look real because it's not going to make you look flat here we still have the light right we have the uh, soft box right here and it's now illuminating me very well it's now bringing in a lot more color and a lot more uh video quality into the picture so uh, that's basically what it looks like right now. So you can see now the quality of the video and you can already see the quality of the audio and how there is a big difference between having just natural light and you know one source of light and uh, trying to illuminate the entire place altogether. Is this something that you believe will be a good fit for you? Let us know what you think by putting it on the comments below. Well, there you have it. We have just taken the time to compare these two amazing webcams, the Rapu C200 which I have right here and the Rapu C260 big brother right here of course you can't really compare them both because they're very different when it comes to their specifications they may look a little same because they still have the screw in at the bottom and they also have the latch here that you can put it on top of as far as the similarities between the two that's it behind it or inside the body of two different kinds of webcams one is a 720p webcam and the other one is a 1080p webcam. So there's already a huge difference between the two. Now, why are we comparing both? Number one, we wanted to compare both because we wanted to give you a choice. We wanted to give you what are the webcams that are available out there, specifically for the Rapu brand. Now, of course, for some, the 720p version, which is the Rapu C200, is already enough for you, okay? You may be already happy with the 720p version because, well, you know, the things that you're doing doesn't really require a lot of quality uh, or maybe because what you're doing doesn't really require a lot of high-end tonalities, okay? You're just using it for uh, web meetings and all of so. This is already good enough for you. Now, of course, for those who are a little bit more particular with their specifications, then this might be something for you. Actually, the 1080p, which is like two times higher and better compared to the 720p, might be your cup of tea. You might be using this more for vlogging or doing uh, so many video-related projects. The Rapu C260 might be better for you. Earlier, if you, if you remember, we were already doing the comparison between between the field of view now it's again it's up to you if you'd like already a much uh, wider field of view then go ahead this baby right here go ahead for the Rapu C260 but if field of view is not much of an issue for you if field of view is something that you know it doesn't really matter I just want to have a good quality camera then you can go for the Rapu 200 now in terms of audio of course both of them sound great they capture the audio very well now, of course, for with regards to audio, that's more of like a, a if then else, right? Because if you have a good scenario when it comes to your audio, meaning you're, you're shooting or you're having a meeting in a quiet room, there's no kens or roosters or kids playing outside their cars and tricycles and all of that, uh, then you won't have a problem with the audio. But if you are on the other side of that uh, scenario, then you might have some problems. Regardless if you're using the 200 or the 260, because they're going to pick up everything that's around you. So that's why we would advise you to use a headset with a microphone. Uh, and sometimes some of them have noise cancelling so that uh, during your meetings, you won't have any roosters, uh, you know, you know doing that <laughs> during your during your video now of course all also boils down to the price because your pricing preferences will also come into play now for the rapu c200 you will be able to spend roughly about 1000 pesos and below okay it's actually lower than 1000 pesos for the higher end the rapu c of course you're going to be spending a lot more but not more than 2000 i think this one comes like 1500 okay for those people who are in the states or somewhere else or basically outside the philippines this one costs roughly about 20 dollars 
and this one costs roughly about uh, 25 to 30 dollars depending on where you are now i understand it may be just 35 dollars it's only 500 pesos yes but you know it all depends upon your budget and your preference now if you think this one is already good enough for you then go and buy it okay? i'm not going to force you to buy something you don't if this is something that is going to satisfy your needs and because your budget is already there go ahead buy it if you have a little bit more cash and you think that this is something that of good use for you, then go ahead and buy it, okay? Just like here on Curious Tech Life, we don't just buy for the sake of buying. We buy because we're going to use it. We buy because we see the value in it and we see the invest. So if you believe that this is a good buy for you, go ahead. If you believe that this is a good buy for you, go right ahead. Here at the channel, we wanted to just give you an idea of how do webcams perform. Up to you. Either way, these two webcams, the Rapu C200 and the Rapu C260 are excellent webcams. Considering also that their price is far more affordable compared to other brands out there. Plus the quality is something that you've already seen. And we want to thank our friends from Rapu Philippines for allowing us to have the Rapu C200 and the Rapu C260 in this video comparison today. We want to appreciate them for all the help that they have supported. So go and please visit their Facebook page, contact them, ask them if you have any questions about their product. Their link is right there at the description below. You're more than happy to just reach out to them. They will respond to you very quickly. And not just that, if you're looking for Rapu products, there are out there in the market go and visit your favorite tech store and department store and they will be there if you can't find them go reach out to them and they'll be more than happy to direct you to the store that has them thanks again rapu philippines now please do check out all the videos on the screen right now or maybe check out our playlist or our other videos in our channel again thank you so much for joining us today and we hope to see you again in the next episode and again as always stay tech curious.